Hello, hi everybody. A very good evening to one and all. Uh, this is the channel for Mikosum Health and Education. Today I am discussing about the uh, syllabus for Indian Army BS Nursing uh, and Dress Exam Syllabus. Okay? Uh, first of all, you have to discuss the topics uh, about uh, the syllabus, including the biology topics and the, uh, as well as the other topics, including physics. The cell biology and uh, the plants, such as an ecology, environmental pollution, biology of plants, and the physiology of animals, physiology of plants, these are the, uh, some, some topics regarding uh, from cell biology. And the topics related to physics are the nuclear physics, NMR theory. Electromagnetic theory and the statistical mechanics, uh, etc., including the physics syllabus. Okay. Uh, coming to the topic uh, which we will uh, discussing about uh, the cellular uh, biology or cell biology. Today I am going to tell about a brief introduction about uh, the cell and its properties. Uh, what is a cell? Yes, uh, a cell means the living thing which is uh, we called. Uh, the structural and functional unit of every organism that means which pre, uh, which makes the today i am telling about uh, the cell and uh, its uh, functions uh, and i am already telling the cell is the structural and functional unit of uh, every organism yes uh, the englishman uh, who called uh, robert uh, hook uh, invented the cell while observing the cork cells regarding the theory there are number of theories uh, about uh, the cell and its functions Unit membrane theory was proposed by Robertson. Uh, he uh, demonstrated that a cell is uh, forming uh, by unit membranes. Uh, most probably, he, he called as proteins only. Proteins only forms the structure of every cell. But it was you know, not universally accepted theory. Yes, later on, Singer and Nicholson, some of the scientists who proposed the fluid mosaic model, uh, which explains the complete uh, detailed structure about the periphery of cell. Yes, the fluid mosaic model was proposed by yes, what we call Singer and Nicholson. Uh, according to this theory, the cell was embedded or the cell was formed by the unit membranes which are made up of two important biomolecules, uh, what we call proteins and the lipids. Yes, the in between the lipid bilayer, the proteins are incorporated. That means, yes, uh, we will discussing about the fluid mosaic model. Yes, what it tells, I am already told, uh, in between the lipid bilayer, the proteins are embedded. Uh, what we call in the sea of lipids, the proteins are uh, floating like that. Yes, what are the protein types means? There are two important types of proteins, integral and peripheral proteins. What are integral proteins? Those are those proteins are special proteins which are embedded in between the two lipid bilayers. Uh, those are integral proteins. Peripheral proteins, what we call the, on the surface of cell membrane or cell, uh, which we, what we call the peripheral proteins. These are the two uh, fundamental proteins uh, for, for forming protein uh, units in the fluid mosaic model. Yes, regarding to the uh, lipids, yes, there are uh, two tails, uh, hydrophilic, heads and hydrophobic tails, there are two portions in the lipid biomolecules. Uh, coming to the structure, uh, what are the proteins I am already told? There are uh, four important types of proteins. Channel protein means which, uh, tran which is help for transportation and uh, receptor protein which will be acting as uh, for uh, receptor uh, which will uh, collecting signals and the other proteins include channel proteins and uh, uh, receptor proteins, active proteins and some other proteins. Yes, channel proteins which are help helpful for transportation receptor for which uh, perceives the signals uh, located by uh, from outer uh, surface of the cells. And other one is active products which uses ATP energy. Uh, why? Because ATP energy, if working the ATP, the proteins are act activated uh, for helping uh, both uh, osmo osmoregulation and also the diffusion process. But it needs some energy requirements. Yes, coming to inside of the cell. Before going to that, Inside of the cell, uh, yes. Uh, let us discuss about the types of cells. Based on the nucleus, there are two two fundamental types of uh, cells: prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. What is means karya means nucleus. Uh, what we call the presence of nucleus. Based on the presence of nucleus, we classify the cells into two fundamental types. Yes, prokaryotes without nucleus uh, are called prokaryotes. Pro means 
uh, without that means lacking uh, is prokaryotes eukaryotes means uh, presence of a true defined nucleus is called eukaryotic cells yes some other differences among the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are prokaryotes are ha ha having lack of membrane bone cell elements like mitochondria and other cell elements like endoplasmic reticulum chloroplast etc yes what we call membrane bone cell elements are present in prokaryotes yes coming to the eukaryotes cells, all membrane bone cells with a definite nucleus is present in eukaryotic cells yes coming to the inside of the cell yes after the cell membrane uh, there is a presence of uh, cytoplasm what we call a uh, protoplasm or cytoplasm whatever it may be yes cytoplasm contains number of uh, membrane bone cell elements in eukaryotes uh, yes first of all we will discuss about uh, the eukaryotic a, a typical eukaryotic uh, structure yes what uh, cytoplasm in, inside the cytoplasm there is a definite nucleus is present uh, towards uh, any pole that means uh, either poles it is present some of the cells having the central nucleus yes um, nucleus is formed by the nuclear membrane yes nuclear membrane is also uh, called as uh, also formed by uh, double membrane structures inside the nuclear membrane there is a uh, spicule uh, like structure what we call nucleolus is present under the chromatin material which is the chromosomal part having hereditary properties uh, by means of the dna yes uh, this is the genetic information carried by uh, from cell to uh, cell that means next generation is yes, coming to the other cell organ endoplasmic reticulum yes endoplasmic reticulum is uh, also known as uh, there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum yes there are differences rough endoplasmic means uh, there is a presence of ribosomes on the membrane surface of course rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum lacking of ribosomes or there is no uh, bounded ribosomes both are helpful uh, for uh, the two process like protein synthesis for rough endoplasmic reticulum and uh, lipids synthesis and transportation for smooth endoplasmic reticulum yes coming to the other cell organelle uh, what we call mitochondria yes mitochondria is other true cell organelle which is a membrane bound uh, and it is the autonomous cell organelle uh, what we call uh, it takes the major process of respiration aerobic respiration and atp synthesis without the mitochondria uh, every uh, no no cell is survived why because there is no respiration there is no atp formation so without atp formation there is no uh, respiration the cell would not survive okay uh, mitochondria yes it, it is a membrane bound organelle which is inside there is also membrane bonds uh, inner membrane outer membrane and uh, matrix surface it has the major uh, uh, approximately uh, out of the 100% of enzymes there is 70% of enzymes are present in the mitochondria yes what we call what is the major function of this mitochondria means which carries aerobic respiration and atp synthesis help, helpful for maintenance of energy requirements of a particular cell yes coming to the next cell organelle uh, uh, chloroplast yes chloroplast is present only in plant cells uh, in animal cells chloroplast are not present yes chloroplast is also a uh, true uh, cell organelle why we call it true cell organelle means it is present only in uh, plant cells only and carries it own synthesis of uh, own synthesis what we call photosynthesis it is carried by the chloroplast yes chloroplast is uh, present uh, sorry uh, they appear in green color due to the presence of chlorophyll pigment which is a key pigment which helps in uh, photosynthesis yes chlorophyll uh, which is a helpful pigment which is in green color to take the part of photosynthesis yes uh, photosynthesis means without photosynthesis there is no food there is no food formation there is no food formation the ecological survival is not possible yes uh, chlorophyll yes uh, with the help of chlorophyll yes, uh, chlorophyll is a green pigment which is uh, by um, four porphyrins formed by four porphyrins and uh, a central metal atom is called magnesium uh, it takes the oxidative phosphorylation process for helpful uh, the uh, transfer of light energy into uh, food okay this is a photosynthesis uh, the next coming to the cell organelle vacuole uh, vacuoles are present in only plant cells but in animal cells also we see 
uh, the vacuoles, but there is small vacuoles. Okay, the vacuoles uh, in plants, so there is a big vacuole is uh, present. Uh, what are the uh, properties or functions of vacuoles in plant cells? Means which stores the reserved food of uh, mostly uh, the lignin, uh, carotenoids, etc., and some carbohydrates. The big vacuoles present in plant cells. Okay, coming to the uh, function, the more major important function of the major important function of vacuole is which stores food already, already told and also it stores the uh, damaged or uh, toxic substances uh, which destroy the cell yes uh, there is a membrane is present uh, so which is surrounded by the vacuole in plant cells only in plant cells only what we call uh, the tonoplast tonoplast is specific in plant cells only yes coming to the other properties uh, uh, only prokaryotes, only specified for prokaryotes are uh, the presence of mesosomes. Yes, the inner holdings of a cell membrane uh, which is formed into the mesosomes. Okay, uh, how, uh, well, uh, let us we uh, started, uh, we raised a question what we, uh, how the prokaryotes was survived by means of mesosomes. Why? Because the respiration process which is a key, which plays a key role in the uh, uh, lively thing of every living organisms is carried in the presence of uh, only mesosomes for prokaryotes only. These are some important uh, cell organelles and uh, its functions in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Uh, the, in, in, regarding these, there are numerous other cell organelles also there, uh, the particularly the ribosomes. The ribosomes are uh, not membrane-bound organelles and not uh, specified for uh, only a single type. Both ribosomes are present in both eukaryotes and prokaryotes. From the origin of uh, evolution, the both cell organelles are present in both type of cells, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. But there is a difference in the formation of uh, ribosomes. For example, prokaryotes for, um, for prokaryotes, we will classify the ribosomes into 70s and uh, eukaryotes, they, uh, we call it 80s. What is 80s? It's red bulk units which are found by means of uh, the ribosomal RNA and some uh, ribosomal proteins. Let us discuss about in detail structures uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will start it, uh, for the Five structure that means all structure of all prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and cell organelles. Okay, we will tomorrow. Keep watching our YouTube channel. Thank you.